Uh, hello everyone, I'm from Check. Also, to welcome to the Basic Materials Project Channel News uh, for me. Okay, so today uh, we're using the Xbox controller with a, a headset. It's a wired Xbox controller. You get it in the UK for about £25 retail. And uh, we're using the uh, Adobe Creative Cloud, Adobe Edition software, uh, just as a recording tool. A bit expensive in relative comparison to Ableton. You can get Ableton free with uh, uh, pretty much it's pretty cheaply available anyway. We was cutting podcasts in Ableton last year, uh, but at the minute we thought we'd just give this a try while all the interfaces in the, in the shop getting repaired. We're expecting that due back any time. We'll, we'll hopefully get back to business on that one. So yeah, we've been trying a bunch of stuff uh, these past few months. Uh, Obviously, the Linux Fedora Workstation C++ ASAP program. We need to revisit that and get those materials done professionally. Uh, get that a bit, a bit better. That's some response. We moved up from the C++ ASAP, which is ideally if you're starting out programming. That's a great, great way to start. Obviously, it's command line only. Text editor and command line only. But you can nevertheless use that to build and package your software on Linux Fedora. We up the ante a bit by moving over to Ubuntu using Visual Studio and OpenGL as well. A lot of a lot more complexity getting started on that one. If we still had to hit the command line to build certain parts of the OpenGL, uh, for some reason we couldn't uh, didn't have enough Linux experience. Uh, and then uh, eventually after that we got to the uh, Visual Studio C++ with DirectX 12. As well, so we just follow the tutorial on that. And uh, now that we've got the game pad, we can add the uh, game controller as well. So we need to f do, do do that coming up. Uh, on the web development front, we were looking at the whole Adobe sort of thing and getting Adobe Dreamweaver to talk to a Ubuntu server. However, uh, it's one of those things, ain't it? We've got it a one way sort of download, but we couldn't put back. The website so for example we could download a website into adobe dreamweaver and uh, have a look at the source code and if we, we couldn't actually push uh new websites onto the uh, uh ubuntu server like we didn't have the configuration sorted tried everything secure socket slave secure shell making certificates uh it was a bit a bit ott really a bit uh too much we have been uh promising to do the amd the advanced C++ with AMD. Uh, we haven't had time in a minute to get around to that, uh, unfortunately. But it's definitely something uh, you know. Once you get it, you know. Once you do the C++ ASAP, you you better get the more advanced stuff. You start out with a Linux Fedora C++ ASAP using text editor and command line only, and you can build and package using RPM uh, on Linux Fedora. And those packages will work on Apple, I believe. They may not work on the new ones though, I don't know, depending on whether they've got any emulator software installed. That's one of them. You can uh, get lost forever, so we ah, failed again really. We also had a look at Windows Server 2022 as well, during this time frame. Uh, but right now, uh, my advice is you've got to just use uh, C Sharp 10 and .NET 6, is probably the best because it's just uh, easier, right? It's uh, far less complex and they've taken care of everything for you, really, in the background. So, anyway, we're in uh, January, February, March, April, May. We're in the month, month of May. Well, I said the month of May. Uh, okay, stay, stay tuned in so we can get anything decent posted for you. Oh, there was a hot tutorial as well uh, about using the Raspberry Pico, the Raspberry Pi Nano, or something like that using it uh, on basic I'll try and get some links together for it but if you want to know what happens when you turn a computer on that's a uh, that's a tutorial that's a YouTube video you want to watch uh, I'll dig it out somewhere and put the links up but yeah so all in all uh, still haven't managed to get the Adobe Dreamweaver working on that with the Linux server right uh, we've got it say 75% of the way but we're still missing the uh, essential characteristic of it and of course, there's all sorts of Linux system admin you need to know as well. So it's it's a heck of a lot for one individual to do. Uh, we also looked at GitHub and GitG. We built uh, on uh, Ubuntu. We built the uh, Unreal Engine 4, which is a bit of a mad session in itself. 
but it's also pretty cool like uh, you know it is like we practice our skills really uh, we also had a bit of a cursory look at ubuntu snaps io as well we can install both on the desktop and on the server as well so it's leaves a lot to be desired really to be honest so i think it's overly complicated uh it's certainly too much for one individual i think i think i might have bitten off more than i can chew really uh we might have to get back into putting out ableton videos <laughs> like make a few beats up there on ableton yeah it's all I'll leave it there for now but that's just the channel news for now all right keep checking back in the future all right until next time